I'm doing a capstone project for my class and you know we had a class together a long time ago he doesn't really know me I know him really well but um, anyway I just knew that I had to, to make a film about his film because I think he's a genius and I know he's really gonna go places with his career so I really want to be there to capture it and Hello, my name is Joshua Yinkst and I am the best damn director this school has ever seen or ever will see. Honestly, it, it, it saddens me to think that my project will be tainted by the lesser hands of the leprous infection that uh, this school calls its uh, student alumni. Uh, I will drag a masterpiece out of this godforsaken hellhole. And if I really have to, I will sabotage my own project to make sure everyone in my class fails. And I'll take it again next semester and just do it by myself next time if I can't find decent, decent. I don't think there's decent at this school. I think I'll just have to find brainless hands that I can enslave to complete my project, which is the only thing that matters at this point, my project. I don't care about anybody else's grades, their life story, how many jobs they have, how much they're working, how many classes they have, it doesn't matter. I live at home with my parents in the basement of a three-story house. I don't care. My project is all that matters. And my project will get me into Hollywood by the end of the year. Hello everybody, I'm your professor. Um, I teach film here, that's why I'm the professor. Um, pick, a, pick a thing you wanna film, I don't give a shit, just, just, just do it, just do it. So I've just met my classmates and I have to say the the, 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 the thoughts running through my mind are beyond disappointed. I am appalled. I am in agony at the state of the students at this school. Everyone is trash, nobody's intelligent, I have a bunch of brainless walking zombies who aren't even intelligent enough to do things I tell them to. So I have to be really hard with this group. I am seriously considering just failing this class on purpose. I just, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this project, I'm either going to fail everyone or I'm going to pull it out, but they'll still fail. I wonder if I can do that. Can I do that? Good evening. My name is Joshua Yinks. I'm you guys' director. Uh, then I'm for debate. The rest of you are on the crew somehow. Hopefully, if you perform stellar in an exemplary manner, you might get hired after this. I will take this project to be in Italy. All right, so does anyone have any suggestions they would like to add to my plan while I'm in a receptive mood? Yeah, you know what? I really like comedy. Would you guys want to do a comedy skit? You know what? That's really funny because nobody asked you. You know what? What's your name? Um, I don't nobody know. cares, all right? Nobody uh, cares. I'm the director. You're in charge of sound now. All uh, right? You manage uh, microphones and stuff, all right? Just stop talking. Sound guys don't talk, all right? All right. Uh, apparently I'm the sound guy. So, like I said, horror, and we have uh, Victoria Blonde playing a classic woman in distress, 
and she will die at some point. So Victoria, I'm sorry, I don't get your hopes up. You'll have a glamorous acting role, but you're going to die. Um, and yeah, so we're going to go with that, and I will have all of you guys' roles and what you'll be doing sent to you at some point. Uh, I will need all of your guys' numbers, emails, uh, and your addresses soon, hopefully, uh, on my desk, which is that table out there by the hallway. Uh, really enjoying this project so far. I really like being a film student. Uh, everyone seems really great. I like working with most of the people. Uh, that director character, though, he's not, not sure about him. Horror, we do need a villain. I haven't found my villain yet, but I will find him at some point. Play the villain? No. I will find someone to play the villain. They need to be specific. They gotta have that kind of air. They gotta have that kind of attitude. They gotta. So I've decided the project I'm going to try and pull out of this class is going to be horror. And I've chosen that because horror has some really definable aspects that I can utilize within the cesspool of talent I have in this classroom. And that mainly being that the star can be an absolute dim-witted blonde. And I have one. And she doesn't know it. Her casting director is her mother. Like, that's how low we're scraping the bottom of the barrel. So I can use her and just play up to her and just have her think she's the greatest thing since, you know, melted cheese. And we'll just, just roll with it. And she'll end up being, like, on crack in Los Angeles by the end of the school year. And I'll be in Los Angeles, not on crack. So, point being, I've chosen horror, I've got an easy talent, all I need to do is get her to flaunt her stuff in front of the camera, act retarded, walk around a bunch, scream like a generic fake blonde does, like blondes like have like different vocal cords or something like that. And I just have, I need to find a villain. That's the one thing I don't have yet that I am seriously in need of is a real villain. Like everything else can be substandard because it doesn't matter. What really matters is I need someone who can play a really vicious, ruthless, malevolent, evil, bloodthirsty, demonic, hateful, possessed, deranged, insane man. I also have the German guy. I think he's German, as my assistant director, because he's the only one there with an accent, and that makes him at least somewhat intelligent. He also might be a Nazi. Or gay. Hello. I very glad to see you. What are you doing later? Line? Listen, I know you're German and that's okay. But I need you to be an American. You know, American things, football, skateboarding, just just Anything, anything normal. Like, I, I don't know what you do for fun in Germany, but over here, we do things like go out and get drunk, and do drugs, and go to rock shows, like any of that, just just, just anything, okay? Got, any I've of that, it. just, just tell it. her, I'll do that. Okay, I've got it. All right, and action. So what are you up to later? I am going to be inserting the needle in my arm and doing the alcohol. 
Okay. Dylan, Dylan, one does not insert alcohol, okay? What? That's drugs. Oh. Something benign, okay? Saying you're going to uh, a park or something and you're going to invite her to go walking with you, all right? Can, do you, can you handle that? Can, do Dormans walk like, normally with <laughs> people? Yes. Then just do that, I, all right? Just, well, just, okay. Okay, all right? Okay. American, okay. going to the park. All right. Going back. And action. So what are you doing later? Well, I am going to be going to the places. Hello. Can we help you? Can I help you? Please? No. We're in the middle of a scene here. Oh, well, carry on. My name is Professor Professor Harrison. I teach film class here at the school that I teach at. Uh, firstly, my name is Klaus. I just said Dylan so I could blend in with them. Um, I am the production assistant. Yes, um, I mostly just kind of stand around and take orders from him and do his grunt work. Sometimes I'll grab coffee, but most of the time I don't put what he wants just so I can see him angry. It's very fun, he yells at the sound guy. What about this project capture your interest? Money and attention mostly. You realize you're not getting paid for this, right? What? This is for a filmmaking class. No one's getting paid for this. Fuck. Excuse me one moment, I have to call my agent. You didn't tell me I wasn't getting paid. It's just, it's it's really hard. I'm, we're bursting at the seams with problems that I cannot handle because I, there are just so many stupid people. I, I don't know if I have the patience required to fully implement my genius using these, <laughs> these rejects. I don't know how they got accepted to school. I thought you needed to know how to read and write to do that. Apparently, we don't do that anymore. So, I haven't found my villain yet. I've been searching all over campus for some shred of talent in this godforsaken cesspool of no life students who have no idea what they want to do with their lives and it's been a real struggle. Everyone here is an idiot. I wish my mom could have afforded to send me to a better school. I found my villain. I found him. He's right there. He's right fucking there. I finally found the man I've been looking for. It's a gift from the gods below. <laughs> I have had the most brilliant discovery I have had to say in my short professional career. I have found my villain. Everything I needed, I found in this giant behemoth of a man. And he's gorgeous. And I am just like in awe of my own ability. I, I spotted him out of nowhere. He was in the bushes, like taking a shit or something. And I, I pulled him in and I, I saw this, this talent in him, and he hasn't said a word to me. We have communicated at that base, core, spiritual level. He knows what I need, and he does that on screen, and I capture it, and I take it, and I'll throw him away at the end of the project, and he can go back to crapping the bushes. But I've got my villain. I really have my villain this time. The villain, uh, he's very intimidating. He's 
it's kind of scary when he stands right next to you because then he just kind of breathes down your neck and makes you feel very uncomfortable. And I feel like the director is telling him to do these things because he doesn't like any of us and it's, it's just very creepy. And I'm fairly certain that's not fake blood on his mask. I, I can smell the copper. I'm fairly certain he's killed people. Um, not in the fake movie, but in real life, like actually killed people. Um, I, I don't like him. He scares me. So it's Ben, right? Coming after you. You're gonna die. Bloodthirsty. Run. Fear. Fear. Uh, Move your ass, Dylan. Uh, <laughs> there we go. This is honestly beneath me. This whole thing. I don't even have a hair. I don't have a hair person. I don't have a makeup person. I don't have anything. How am I supposed to look my best on film? How am I supposed to act my best without hair and makeup? The director, he's insane. I don't know, was he dropped on his head as a child? I can't figure it out. He's, he keeps comparing himself to Quentin Tarantino, but he's more like a Ryan Singer. Who's Ryan Singer? He's a nobody. That's what he is. sound guy that's all you do all you had to do was push record on the freaking zoom that's all you had to do and when I say cut you stop recording and when you are recording you used to yell speed you don't yell speed if you're not recording you don't touch the boom you don't fondle it you don't handle it you don't do anything it stays on the end of the pole away from you without the cord dragging to the ground that's all you had to do what did you do you tripped over it. You wrapped it around your leg because you thought that was a good idea. So now, in all of our audio, there is this background swish because you had it on your leg the entire time. And now we have to reshoot everything. Yep, my, my back. My back. It is your bad. I will have it in the credits. The sound guy's bad. The director keeps, he keeps freaking out because he thinks someone's tampering with the equipment and he keeps blaming everyone else and he keeps asking me for advice on what to do. And I just tell him, you know, just keep calm, you know, just keep talking to them, maybe they'll get it eventually. And it's, it's, it's funny because I'm actually the one doing it. Um, 
So every time he looks away, I stop the audio. I just push the little button when he's not looking. Whenever you know he's turning around to yell, it's the camera guy for some reason. Um, and then every time he goes to admire the villain's butt, for, which is very weird, he just he just looks at it longingly. So it gives me time to just like boop, push the button, and then there's no audio. And uh, and so yeah, and then uh, sometimes whenever he's not looking, I'll just tilt the camera a little bit, you know, like uh, give it a little tilt, and then he freaks out later because of it. He looks at the footage. And then uh, sometimes I'll, I'll steal his car keys and I'll put it in the cameraman's pocket. Um, just, just little things to get him going. Uh, I, th I do this mostly because he keeps calling me a Nazi. Um, I'm definitely not a Nazi. Um, he also called me gay for some reason. And uh, well, I'm definitely not a Nazi. Let's just put it that way. We are officially a month into the shooting process. Um, to recap, my sound guy now knows the butt end of a plug. And uh, seriously, like, give me here, give me here. All right, all right, thank you. Follow me, come here, let me do something real quick. Everyone, just, no, stay there, please, stay there. Look! Right here! You see what this is? It's the butt end of a plug! It goes in the recorder! Yeah. You know where else it can go? Oh, uh, what the fuck! Now do you know the difference? Because I had to shove it up his... Let's just say I explained it. Phone guy. I've just I've I've tried to speak his language. I just I just just send him emojis and hopefully he understands. That's how I communicate with him at this point. I just I just send him emojis and hopefully he understands his role because I've already explained it a thousand times and at this point I really don't care. We've had to reshoot multiple things because somebody does not understand you have to hit the button twice to record sound. So I have entire chunks of footage, empty, with no sound. And the sound guy was like, we can just, we can just overdub it, we can just do that. And I'm like, are you retarded? No. We shoot the audio on scene. That is how real filming is done. We don't do any of this, this, this plastic crap where you go to a booth after the movie and reshoot your lines. None of these people are talented enough for that, except me. But I don't need to be on camera. It's not my job. And my villain doesn't speak, and my blonde never shuts up. It is opening night. I have not changed clothes for the last two weeks because I am that deep into the process of finishing this film. Um, it, it's, it's in the classroom, uh, but I do have a stack with my, my dealer of 200 printed VHS tapes with my, my film on it, with the behind the scenes documentary that you have so kindly provided me with. And to just to just sum it all up, I am I'm so ready to watch everyone else fail because I made sure no one's in the credits but me. And I'm 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 really proud of that. I had to kind of sneak past the editor to do that, but it, it's for the greater good. These these people don't need to graduate. Uh, they need to die alone at home. So. Uh, 
this is going to be the beginning of my career. I am super excited. I, 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 I may or may not have had some cocaine before I came here. I am just ready for my teacher to just turn in his keys and walk away and realize that he is no longer fit to teach anyone because he taught me nothing. And I, I, I did this all by myself. I did borrow some of his equipment, but I, I, I don't care. So uh, it, 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 it serves me. It serves me. I, I'm the one this project is about. It's me. I'm the only one in the credits. That's how it should be. It's just my name. Everyone else can fail. All right, Shithead, let's see your projects. Uh, before we start, I'd like to say just a few words real quick about our project and the semester in general. <coughs> So I'd like to thank all of you for being absolute crap. I know you all tried your very best and you failed miserably. So what I have to present to you is my personal endeavor. The rest of you have failed this class already. All right, you just, I know we went through a lot together. You know, we learned a lot together. Sound guy finally understood what the butt end of a plug was. Audio guy. I don't remember what you did this semester. Honestly, I didn't know you were here. Uh, we embraced a Nazi. I mean, that's, that's, that's cultural diversity, acceptance, and all that. Point being, we've come a long way with this project. I'd like to thank everyone for absolutely nothing, because none of you contributed. This is mine. And now you all get to see why I'm the only one passing in this class.
not doing much, just kind of drawing and hanging out, and kind of got bored and figured I'd give you a call. Yeah. What's your favorite scary movie? Hang on, Mom. I heard something. I'm going to put you down for a sec. Jesus! I switched out the acridges when he wasn't looking. He didn't notice, he just said, where's the dumb blonde? And then he just started rolling it. And then the dumb blonde was just over there talking to her manager like, why can't you get me a better part? Why am I not getting paid for this? How come I'm not a natural blonde? It's very sad. I am furious. I'm pissed. What does he think he's doing? He doesn't have me in it. I would have made him. He is nothing without me. He's such an idiot. He's going to regret this. I am going to be the next Gwyneth Paltrow. And he missed his opportunity. He could have had a real star in this. All right, so. The, the, the really clever part about this whole project is that after we went and shot everything with these rejects, I went the night before the project was due. I gathered some of my friends together and we reshot the whole thing. I am like amazed with the own exit strategy that I came up with. Not only am I the only one going to be credited because I'm the only person out of the actual group that did the project that was submitted in the class and everyone else is going to look like they just slacked off the entire semester, which they basically did because I, they, they can't help it. They're just not that intelligent. So I went and reshot it. It went so smoothly this time. I, I had only to worry about one person on camera 
and it, it was gorgeous. And I have to say, it, I am buzzing right now because everyone is going to fail and realize that it's their own fault because they weren't, they, did, they, they, they just did not contribute to any of the project whatsoever. They can't listen to basic instruction. They don't, they don't know what plugs are. They don't know how to turn the camera on. They hand me batteries that, that were, are, 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 are useless because they don't understand what put it in the charger means. Um, I, 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 I've run out of sound files and video files and I've had people break equipment and I just, you, 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 what, what was that for? That was interesting. D minus. By the way, you guys can all go home now. together cosmos without hatred stars like diamonds in your eyes the ground can be space 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 with feet marching towards a peaceful sky all the moon men want things their way but we make sure they see the sun Goodbye, moon man You say goodbye, moon man Goodbye, moon man Goodbye Cosmos without hatred Diamond stars of cosmic light Quasars shine through endless night And everything is one in the beauty And now we say goodbye Moon man You say goodbye Stop singing about the fucking moon men. <laughs> <laughs>